This AI tool allows you to craft impressive games like the examples shown here simply by typing a few prompts. You don't need any coding or programming skills, which is why it's often referred to as a ChatGPT for game creation. So this platform is basically called Astrocade. And as you can see, as soon as you open their website, you're going to be finding literally hundreds of games that have been created by the community using this amazing AI tool. So let's, for example, play this one, okay? So as soon as you click it up, it's going to take just some time to load it in. And here we are, okay? So we have the controls over here with the arrows, okay? Or W, A, S, and D. We can also jump with the spacebar, okay? And it seems that we can basically move around and we have to basically do what it's telling us to do. So we can uh, move this thing around, okay? And <laughs> exactly do this with all of them and not the background. As you can see, it has like a lot of things. It has, take a look at those particles, the camera shakes, the background, the sprites, everything that this game has, okay? Um, so it's pretty interesting how somebody, okay, has been able to generate literally all this okay using ai I, I want to show you for example one game but we can super quickly go to another one just for you to see the true power that you can uh, that you can have with this tool it's not a tool that will just allow you to create a basic prototype with a few things this is something that you could actually let's say publish or do whatever you want so here for example we have another example of what you can do so this is some kind of platformer game in which we, in this case we have to collect three gems to win so let's jump over here and once again, take a look at the art, okay, at everything, at the platforms, at the player animation. So all this completely generated with AI without you having to download anything, literally, because it, it runs in the web. So this is super amazing. So let's try to reach for that platform over there. And let's collect this other gem. And where is the other one? Maybe over here. Okay, I failed. But there you can see everything that this platform is capable of doing. And also something that I can tell you is that and this platform is usually updated, so there are always new things that uh, are being added, which of course we are also going to be checking in this video. So just to start using this AI tool, it's super simple, you just head to the official website, okay, and then you press on create your own game and give it a second. And you can see here we have like the usual chat that we tend to have. So we first are asked what kind of game would we like to create, okay? So the cool thing here is that you can type whatever you wish. So in this case, I've super simply just uh, defined here my game idea. So let's press enter, okay, and let's give it a second. And here is what I really like about this platform and something new from the update. And that is that when you want to define the game design, when you want to basically define the, the game idea, you're asked about it. So I've just told it, okay, I want a sure game with a player, some platforms and an enemy and some coins. But of course, there are a lot of ways of creating. This could be a futuristic city, an ancient ruin, a mysterious forest, whatever it is. So it's pretty cool that you can kind of start to have more control over the uh, final game created. And this is something that I personally not seen in any other platform. Okay, so it's pretty amazing because some platforms, yes, they do allow you to create some games, let's say but it's not kind of super custom, okay? In this case, you're even asked questions and you have options or you can even type whatever you want. So for this kind of game, let's just do something pretty simple. So for example, a futuristic city. And once again, something super amazing. You have the game idea, Cyber City Shooter. You have a short description about it. Not only a text, but even a visual. This is amazing, okay? Here's a mock-up of what I mean. And here you can see like, what the AI, the AI is trying to kind of think of. So we have even some flying cars over here. I believe this one would be the character and these ones are the enemies. We have some coins, so amazing. So we can type uh, even more messages to tell it, okay, um, I don't know, I don't like this character design, do it differently, uh, not only add coins uh, or not only add uh, enemies as robots, but add them as other creature, whatever it is, you can type it in. So it's super custom. So let's press over here on create. And well, we now have to wait a couple of uh, minutes, okay? What you can also see here is that this platform is like, it has an amazing UI and, and it, it feels amazing. Like it, it, it does not suddenly close. It doesn't suddenly stop answering or anything like that. And the AI, the, the sorry, the, the UI is amazing, okay? Everything. So even while the game is being created, you have this, this graph over here, this star, I don't know. Everything feels polished, okay? Not only the final game that probably this AI is going to be able to generate, but the experience of creating it. Okay, and here we are. So, a couple of new things from the previous version, okay? Now we have what is called game settings. So, here we can modify stuff related to the game itself. For example, gravity, bullet speed, music volume, even SVX, okay? 
you can close them with this cross at the very top and open them up again with this icon over here and basically now what we are going to do is to press play and we can click to play and we can move around in this case okay and we can basically shoot at these enemies okay so this is amazing literally it was done exactly as we wanted so a shooter game in this case in a futuristic city okay we can jump we can shoot at these enemies okay and the enemies even are shooting at us okay so this is not all that you can do you can go back to edit and literally do whatever you want so for example we have these platforms over here so here we can modify i know the width okay we can modify the height of these platforms okay um we can of course just move this platform around and with these buttons at the very top okay we can go to the different modes so select mode so i select this platform and i can move it around or i can even just remove it let's also remove this one let's go back to select select this one and remove but well this is not working right now because i think that i don't have this platform selected yet but anyway if we go to platform we can paint more platforms by clicking okay left clicking and we can even put more enemies so let's put i don't know an enemy over here but i believe that then the enemies are actually spawned automatically so it's not that we have not told the ai okay we want to have enemies spawn at specific positions uh because as you have seen when we played the game the enemies were kind of procedurally uh, instantiated uh but the coins i believe that we should be able to instantiate them manually yes here we go so for example, we can put some coins over here and we even have here a button that says delete so we should be able to delete things when I press them, but I don't really know why that button is there. But anyway, the, the key thing is here is this customization. Okay. Um, so I don't know, let's move this kind of over here. And the cool thing is that it's even automatically integrated one way platforms, as you can see. So I didn't totally tell it to integrate one way platforms and it has done it. So once again, it really surprises me. Even we have a camera con a camera controller, if you have checked. So the camera is kind of following me and it's following me in a smooth way so once again this really blows away my mind and once again uh, for example i feel that the, the the gravity is maybe too low so if i want greater gravity i can go to edit game settings and let's increase the gravity to i don't know for example seven seven hundred fifty and now i have way less gravity so you have a lot of control over the final game that is being created and if you want to change add something whatever you can just type it here for example, I feel that the bullets are quite small, so let's tell it to make the bullets bigger. So here we have it. So it's been uh, it's been adjusted. So when we press play and we can click, okay, as you can see, we are now shooting uh, way bigger bullets. Okay, uh, so once again, this really blows away my mind. Create your first game in less than five minutes. Just go to astrok.com and see how simple it is. So I hope that you have been able to enjoy this video and that you have actually found this tool helpful. So see you in the next one. Bye bye.